It's been a deadly few days on Tennessee roads, and the tragedies are part of a new troubling trend. THP reports there have been 56 more fatal accidents this year than the same time last year. News Channel 5's Emily Luxon is live on the Fern Avenue overpass. Emily, what's behind the higher numbers? Well, THP actually thinks a couple of things. They think distracted driving and the fact that in many cases people are not wearing seat belts. And they say it's always upsetting to see the numbers on their reports go up. Those are families. Those are lives lost and families affected that affect the whole community. So they're very concerned us, and that's why we monitor them closely. And we are learning more about the two most recent fatal accidents that occurred on I-40 in Dixon County. On Friday, Jesse Butts was killed in a six-car accident near Burns. Dixon police say a tractor trailer crossed over into the right shoulder and hit a truck, which caused a chain reaction crash. Four other people were rushed to the hospital. Butts was a sergeant in the Marine Corps Reserves in Smyrna, the son of the chief deputy of the Hickman County Sheriff's Office, and a father to three young children. Then on Sunday, a pickup truck heading east on I-40 went off the side of the road, hit a disabled truck, lost control, and then skidded off the road into the woods. Shelby Cox and Cameron Isabel were not wearing seat belts and were both killed. While the cause of both of these accidents is still being investigated, THP says both accidents serve as a reminder for people to wear their seat belts and try to limit distractions while out on the road. Distracted driving, it's, it's really on the rise. We, we're in the need now to be in constant communication, and you know, whether it's texting, sending a tweet, sending a Facebook message. We see it all out there, and if we just people get people to focus on driving and not the other distractions in their car. Meanwhile, TDOT has proposed some safety improvements at the interchange where Friday's accident happened. That includes adding a deceleration lane and an additional right turn lane. Also, possibly portable tra traffic cameras and message boards could be added to monitor the area and keep drivers updated on delays. Reporting live on Fern Avenue, Emily Luxon, News Channel 5.